our topic is instrument as system in the unit number 3 instrument as system so first of all what is the instrument as system so generally the air used must be clean dry and oil free for the particular instrument to ensure that small lines distinction and the nozzle will not be plugged by the scales dot oil or water so this is the first requirement of the instrument air system okay now they can be used to fully open and desert a valve or in an application that require constant and precise control such as regulating the flow of fluid to the gas turbine modulate the position of the valve so in the instrument air system we have a multiple function used in the same system so the air must be clean dry and the oil free okay so for that water in the line can cause corrosion and the rusting of the air system and the instrument devices the next is the scaling that may cause the damage to delicate instrument devices and plug lines and the nozzle and removal of the lubricator from the controller and water will be blocked or ruptured the instrument or the air lines when the freezing temperature occurs so whenever we can use a water in the instrument system that that time we have a multiple problems in the system so for that we can use a high quality instrument air system and what is the requirement of the high quality instrument air system so the first requirement is the sizing criteria the next one is the pressure level the third one is the source criteria the fourth one is the compressor selection the next one is the dryer selection and the last one is the distribution system so whenever we design an instrument air system there there are different different criteria for the high quality instrument air system so we can study one by one for the same so first one is the sizing criteria okay so in the sizing criteria we can use a different different air user and for the particular air user there are a different capacity requirement okay here for example is given for this particular application we can change the capacity or we can change the instrument for this system so if each instrument for the air pilot the capacity requirement is 0.50 okay now if we, we can use a diaphragm valve positional as you know the diaphragm valve that we have studied in the last last chapter and positional that decide the position of the control valve so the diaphragm valve positional the capacity required is 0.75 now if we can use a piston positional so generally whenever we design a mechanical system that time we can use a piston positional because the cylinder and the piston mechanism is used in generally mechanical system so the capacity requirement of the piston positional is like 3.00 and if there is a pulse or the block back in the system okay if we can use a multiple pipe in the same instrument system and if there is a blockage or the pulse system is required for this system so the capacity requirement for this particular instrument air user is 10.00 so depending upon the application depending upon the system and depending upon the connection there are a different different capacity required for the sizing criteria okay in our syllabus that we have studied the four type of instrument air user okay now next factor is pressure level okay so in the pressure level there is a some range for the particular instrument okay so 40 psig to as high as 120 psig that means we can use a pressure level between 40 psig to 120 psig now generally the common range of the pressure level is 
80 and 100 psig okay now in today's mechanism in today's instrument system we have generally used a 40 psig pressure lever okay now if instrument is used for the cleaning and drying purpose that time the pressure level range is 10 to 15 psig and what type of instrument or the component that we can use for the cleaning and drying purpose like an after cooler okay where we can connect after cooler after this system if there is a requirement of the cooler so this is known as the after cooler then the water separator with the output is one and we can separate the output in the, into two levels that time we can use a what water separator then the pre and after filter it is the compulsory requirement of the instrument air system and the last one is the air dryer for dry the air okay so that time the pressure level is 10 to 15 psi g okay the next one is the air supply source which type of air supply source is used for the instrumentation so the discrete system used in the process plant there are two type of air supply source an instrument air supply source and the a plant air system okay now what is an instrument air supply source so in the instrument air system in the same system we have used a different different types of material the uh, material or the instrument the working of the instrument is also different the inlet and outlet is also different so for the particular instrument for the particular process plant if we can use a 10 different types of instrument so for the different different instrument we can connect a different different instrument air system okay and the next air supply source is a plant air system in generally we have connect a whole process plant air system in the instrumentation system okay so this is about the air supply system now this is the diagram of the air supply source how the air supply source is connected to, to the instrument so this is the diagram for that when the air requirement is low and a typical system may const consist of the air cooler compressor plus the spare with the air receiver complete with the cooling, lubricating, regulating and starting system and it is mounted on the air receiver that time we can use this type of air supply source diagram here you can see that we can connect the filter as a input that is known as the intact filter after the filter they can connect a compressor okay now compressor is connected with the receiver as well as the transmitter whatever signal is there it is go to the after cooler and whatever the working of the after cooler we can get the air system and this type of air system is go to the air system header now what is the air system header that we have studied in the next session what is the function of the after cooler what is the function of the compressor how many types of compressor what is the filter at which place we can connect the filter that we have studied or we have discussed in detail in the next session so this is the basic diagram of the air supply source okay now this is the another diagram of the air supply source whenever we can connect a dryer okay and whenever we connect a dryer in the particular system with the dryer a vent system and pod system is there this is the p and i diagram of the air supply system so here you can see that we can connect the pre-filter after the pre-filter there is connected a compressor with the compressor they, they will connect a transmitter with the transmitter they will connect a pi now what is the full form of pi it is the pressure indicator so after the compressor the value of the pressure is what that indicate the pressure indicate after that we can connect the after cooler and after cooler the output of the after, after cooler is going to the air header so this is the remaining diagram of the air supply source okay so after the 
air header we can connect the dryer of the system we can connect the after cooler of the system and whatever system is working like like if we can connect the pressure as well as temperature in the same system so we can connect a pressure indicator temperature indicator pressure level temperature level in the p and i diagram okay so this is the diagram of the air supply source okay the next one is the self contained regulator it may be used for the plant air maker okay and it is replace the standard pressure control station for the automatic air maker in the case of IA compressor is failure. Okay. Now, whenever we can connect the compressor with the intake in intake filter, and whenever the compressor is failure, after that we can connect such type of automatic air supply source in the system. Here you can see that input is from the instrument air compressor. Okay. After that. Generally, we can connect after cooler and after cooler we can connect the dryer. Three the after cooler and dryer, whatever the requirement or whatever the measurement is there, then we have to connect here. You can see that T indicates the temperature, S B indicates the set variable, okay, and T I indicates the pressure indicator, okay. So between the after cooler and the dryer, we can connect the self contain regulator with the wire okay so whenever the uh, input is increase or decrease we can regulate that with the self contain regulator okay thank you everyone if anyone have doubt then contact me